when I'm using sheets, I use a lot of formulas in my sheets, and there are a few things that you need to be careful of when you're using formulas. So here I have an example uh, spreadsheet where I'm going to use the equation y equals mx plus b to generate a table. So I'm actually going to carry out that mathematical operation. I'm going to do m times x plus b. So in my table here, I have the x's already populated, and I want the second column to actually do the math for me. Whenever you're entering in a formula, you always start with equals, even when you're using the word formulas like average and things. Um, so I'm going to say equals, and I want to do m, which is up there in b4, times x, which is over here. Then I want to add in the b value. I say enter, and it will register my uh, formula. Now, I don't want to have to type that in a lot of times, so I'm going to copy that formula down to the other cells. There we go. Now, what's kind of cool about Sheets is it, it does a lot of predicting for you. So it says, oh, you copied that formula down here. So of course, you want to use the x value in B10. You don't want to go up to B9 again. And that's good for some things. However, in this case, I wanted it to use the M and B always that were in B4 and B5. So what I'm going to have to do is something called anchoring your formulas. I'm going to delete all these copied formulas, and I'm going to go into mine. I want it to always use the M value in B4, so I need to anchor it. To anchor a, uh, to anchor a cell in a formula, you use the dollar sign. If you want to anchor the column, you put a dollar sign in front of the column, the letter. If you want to anchor a row, you put a dollar sign in front of the row. And what that means is stay in this row or stay in this column. If you want to anchor both, you put a dollar sign in front of both. So right now I have both anchored. I don't actually have to have both anchored in this case, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I also want to use the same B, so I'm going to anchor those. Now, I do want to take advantage of the fact that it's going to predict which x value I use, so I'm not anchoring the x value cell. So I'm going to say enter so my new formula is registered, and then I'm going to drag it down. So right now it's zero for everything because I don't have any values entered in as my slope and my y-intercept. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to enter my slope is 2, my y-intercept is 8. And you can see that it will generate all of those values for me in my table. And since they were anchored, it's always using my m value of 2 and my v value of 8. But it is changing the x value based on which particular row it's in. So that's anchoring cells when you're referencing them in formulas.